going to be making the map of Africa. This is going to be a vertical map, and we're going to do most of the countries in Africa without some of the um, islands and some of the very smaller countries. This is a basic outline of the larger countries of Africa. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold the paper in half. We're going to fold the paper in half again so that now you've got a strip of four rows when you open it up. Then you're going to turn your paper and you're going to go ahead and do another fold in half and then a fold in half again so that you are making 16 rectangles when you open up your paper. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to make your lines for each of these. Now, as I've talked about in other videos, you want to make sure that if you are right-handed, your pencil's in your right hand and your ruler's on the left hand. We like to call this the ruler side and the writing side. And I always tell my students that you do not want to um, write on your cross over your right your ruler hand with your writing hand because it tends to it's harder to see and if you're having a harder time seeing some of these lines like I am you can fold the paper and with your ruler and then you'll go ahead and you can see the line a little bit easier all right so now we've gotten our 16 squares so one two three four one two three four sixteen uh, four times four is 16. Now we're going to go ahead and label them. This is going to be the first one. Our longitude lines are our lines going from top to bottom, and our latitude lines are going to go across. So our first one is the prime meridian. Prime meridian. And then we've got 20 degrees, 40 degrees. Then we're going to go on our latitude lines, we're going to go Tropic of Cancer. We're going to do the equator. That's our middle line. Then we're going to do the Tropic of Capricorn. And Capricorn's quite long, so you can just scrunch up your handwriting if you need to. You're going to go ahead and put a small compass rose in the bottom corner, north, east, south, and west. There we go. If you want to be fancy and you want to do your intersections with the northeast, uh, southeast, and such, you can. Okay, so we're going to start with our dots. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the outline first. So we're going to go ahead and put one just above, about a, I'd say a half inch above the Tropic of Cancer line on the 20 degrees. Then we're going to go over to the corner and we're going to make a number two. And I like to number the dots just so that it helps later on when we're going to make our um, lines. We can just reference the dots. Okay, then three is going to go in the corner of 40 degrees in the equator. And then we're going to make four over here. And these dots should be set relatively parallel to the ones you made with one and two. Okay, five is going to be just right of the 40 degrees on the uh, equator. So that's five. Then we're going to go down to six. Six is going to go in the middle of the equator in the Tropic of Capricorn. Seven is going to go in the intersection of 40 degrees and the Tropic of Capricorn. And then we're going to go down to 8, which is near the bottom of your paper. 9, you're going to go just left of 20 degrees on the Tropic of Capricorn. I'm going to pull that one in just a smidge. And then 10, 11, and 12 are going to go straight in a line. So we're going to talk, I, used, I like to say, if you imagine there's little spiders in the corner, here's Tropic of Capricorn. We're going to put one spider in the corner here. Then we're going to go up just a bit and put one in this corner. And then we're going to go up to this corner above the equator and put 12. Okay, so you notice that goes 10, 11, 12. Then we're going to go over to 13. Then we're going to drop down for 14, which is now this one is 
kind of in this corner. And then we're gonna go up 15, 16, they're gonna line up. So 15, 16, then go up to the corner for 17. And the last one, 18, is just above 17 and one. And it's gonna go like this, 18. And now we can go ahead and draw our lines. So when you're doing them, it's just like dot to dot. Start with one, go all the way to 18. You wanna always use a ruler and if you need to, turn your paper. You're not bound to your paper being in one spot because then it gets a little bit tricky. All right, then we go down. We're gonna draw along the line for six and seven. Down to eight, up to nine, over for 10. 11, 12, 13, you notice that I'm just moving my paper around as much as I can, making sure that my writing hand is always on my writing side and that I'm not crossing over my ruler. So I'm just zipping around and then take it down for eight, 18 to one. There you go, that is the outside, this is the outside border of Africa. Now we're going to go ahead and start in adding some of our countries. Okay, now the first country, the first one I like to start with is Djibouti. That one's going to start us and it's going to be right here. And we're going to write it in D Djibouti D I C I B Djibouti. And then we're going to go in and we're going to zip go up and down just below five and that's going to create Somalia. So Somalia, make sure you capital S, Somalia. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and this is where we're now going to start creating some of the larger countries. That gave us just a, a, a little bit of a grounding to put the rest. Now if you look for the 12 right here, we're gonna go just above, just in between the equator and dot number 12. We're gonna draw a line hitting all the way over to Somalia. And now that is gonna help us with the rest of them. Now you're gonna go just to the right of number one. And that's gonna take us down and create our eastern side of the countries. So now I'm gonna jump over and I'm going to bounce over and hit the wall on the outside. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna angle it slightly, go in and out. All right, there we go. Now I've created our Sudan and South Sudan. All right, and I'm gonna cut that in half. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and label it. So we've got Egypt. Sudan, South Sudan, oops, Sudan, there we go, and then Air, Then we're going to make our line for Eritrea, so this is a strip of land, you can curve this or you can not curve it, I'm going to go ahead and curve mine just because it's kind of how it looks on the map, E-R, Eritrea different pronunciations for that one. Oh, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Okay, so now you've gotten your Eastern countries there. Okay, now we're gonna drop down and we're gonna go ahead and do the South. This helps in with our, our angles here. Okay, so now you'll notice we have eight and we have nine. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that in half. So I went in between eight and nine, and now I'm gonna do South Africa, okay? And now I'm gonna take South Sudan, I'm gonna go about the middle of where South Sudan starts and 40 degrees, I'm gonna go about the middle here, and I am gonna draw a straight line that's gonna hit down at the bottom at South Africa, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make a line from dot number 10. So here's number 10. We're gonna go ahead and draw across 
so that we hit that line we just made. All right, now we've gotten some big countries in here. We're going to, um, I'm gonna cut this one over. So I'm gonna just right of 20 years, I'd like to say a pencil width. We're gonna draw a line here. That's gonna be Namibia. Then Botswana is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this in. Namibia, Botswana. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now 11 to the corner of Namibia is gonna create Angola. And I like to say Angola is at an angle. Angola. It's helpful to remember those some things. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost at our um, finishing up our South Africa. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna make our top little corner over here. So we've got Equatorial Guinea, which is a small little country. And I didn't do a uh, ruler for that one, which is, it's okay, because it's kind of small. Then I have Gabon, Gabon. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make Congo. So all I did was just make a rectangle and then another rectangle kind of around it. And now I'm gonna make a crooked quadrilateral to make my Republic of Congo. And I'm just gonna pull that out a bit. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna write them in. So this one, Equatorial Guinea, is kind of big for that itty bitty country. So Equatorial Guinea. I'm gonna just write it out here. Then we have Gabon. And then we have the Republic of Congo. Okay, now we've gotten, we're gonna go ahead and make Zambia. So I'm just gonna go up a bit in this corner. So Angola has kind of a corner right here. I'm just gonna pick a spot that's just above it, zip over to our line on South Sudan. I'm gonna write Zambia, kind of reminds me a little bit of a Z shape there. And then this whole big shape right here is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna fill in this section over here, the east, the rest of the eastern side. And there's a whole bunch of countries over here. The first ones we're gonna do are the ones above South Africa. So we're gonna take this line that we made for um, the top of Namibia and Botswana, and we're just gonna shoot. Um, actually, I'm gonna take Zambia first. I'm gonna take Zambia all the way over. And then I'm going to cut this rectangle in half. And then I'm going to take this line that I made over here and I'm going to cross it over. Okay, so you should have one, two, three countries. The first one is Mozambique. Mozambique. Then we've got Zimbabwe. And then we've got Malawi. Malawi. Kind of fun to say. Okay, now we've just got our few countries over here in the east. And so we're going to, what I'd like to do is take this line that we've made in the corner for South Sudan. And actually, let's see. Let's do this. Let's cut this diagonally in half. There we go. So just below, you're gonna cut that line so that you have a diagonal and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut that in half and that's gonna give us Uganda and Kenya. Now there is quite a little bit of space if you look at a regular map, um, but when we're making these geometric maps, sometimes you just do it so it's a little bit just easier to angle instead of making all of the curves. So this is not accurate to a regular map, but because we're not adding in um, all the topographical stuff. So then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make a little box here that drops down below in between Uganda and Kenya. And I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to cut that in half. And that's going to give us um, 
Rwanda, and Burundi. Burundi. And if you need to draw lines out, you can just to, so that you have more space, or if you want to try to fit them in, that's fine too. Tanzania is that last awkward kind of shape right here. So, Tanzania. All right, there we go. For fun, I know I said I wasn't gonna do countries, but Madagascar is always fun for the kids to do. Madagascar. And they like to shoot that one in, just a fun point to get. Okay, now we've done everything from the south or east and central and south. So we're gonna go ahead and in our next video, we're going to do the all of the rest of the northern countries and the western countries.